<laughs> go ahead, go ahead. No, this is just this is just like the buy stuff. Like, oh, Echo, it's okay. I don't believe if you're buy, I am buy. No, no, no. no. It's the exact same thing. I want you thing. back. I want you back, thing. but you have not officially Wait, come Echo's back. Wait, Echo's buy. You have not officially. Yeah, you didn't even say you officially come back. So fuck. I off did. I said it multiple fucking times. Fuck off. I mean, I said you sound Where? like a official simp. Where? I said on your stream. What do you mean? I said I'm coming back to AWT. Fuck, that, is that is official. That is official. That is official. No, it's, no, it's not. not. It's yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's, it's, not not it's literally a chill it's stream. Not. It's literally a chill it's stream. It's a chill stream. My wait, stream wait, is not official. Wait, wait. That's where. That's that's. Joe, if it's unofficial, that means I never lost in <laughs> GTA oh. 5. Oh, no, no, my stream is official for you losing. That happens <laughs> on my stream, and it's gameplay or chill-wise. But like, no, nope, no, nope, nope. nope, that nope, was nope. that was that was official. It's though. unofficial. It's it's unofficial. Plus, oh, that's all we're playing games. What's up, everybody? Plus Welcome 15. back to another episode of AWG. I'm joined by Burn Plus the World 15. 10 Echo of Tragedy, Talk Robin, of course, up, Joe. Joe, uh, Joe, shut up, Joe. Joe, and of course, we got. Stupu Goopu. Shut up. <laughs> we got so TJ Cream. TJ Cream. Oh, that's not my Weppel. fucking name. I love Thomas Weppel. <laughs> no, but welcome to AWT. Goobie. We have Flatley. We have Sliggins. We have a guy who who back and forth between saying he's in, uh, he's not Echo of Tragedy. We have Burn the World 10. We have a Sliggins, stupid, dumb, idiot, Sliggins, stupid, dumb. Oh, goobie shut goobie up, idiot. TJ Cream. Dummy idiot, call me TJ Cream, which is not my fucking name. <laughs> uh, we have Robin. Robin's here. Robin's here for his first official episode. My on, boy, Goopy the Menace. Goopy the Menace, baby. Oh, Goopy the Menace. It's, oh, dude, this this fucking gubba wubba dub dub <laughs> shit is not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> TJ Cream, you, just don't, you, don't, you don't understand Goopy Wooby mentality, That's not buddy. My name, Nick. Stop calling me that! Oh no, I gotta edit that out. TJ <laughs> Cream, how, how dare you? TJ! my fucking name! TJ, how could you? Uh, guys, guys, we'll be, we'll be right back after this sponsor by TJ Cream. We are wait, sponsored wait, by Keeps. Wait, we're sponsored? Uh, make sure that you keep your baldness in check with Keeps. Keeps is, has a photogenic and also You know who uses Keeps? It's been helping wait, we have bald long. people watching us? We do. Their name do you is, know uh, who uses Keeps Liggins. the most? Oh, wait. I Our just realized. Our favorite Gooby Wooby, Glub Glub, Ayo. It's true. What the fuck is this shit? Come on. <laughs> What's up, guys? Shut up, okay, guy. Let's, let's get up into the docket, okay? All right, let's get into the docket. I don't have it pulled up. Okay. Me either. Glob topics. I what posted it in the group chat. You actual. Dude, I'm so tired of this fucking hentai goopy whoopy lollycon bullshit. Let's fucking stop. I was Joe, a lollycon. Did you get a DM from Shad, man? Just like, if I sucking. saw these goddamn hamsters in real life, I would stomp them into the fucking ground just so you guys will stop this fucking goopy whoopy fucking ooby dooby ooby doo. I want to be like you, ooh, ooh, bullshit. Okay, I'm sick of this. Yo hoo. Dude, that's animal abuse. We don't condone animal abuse. Alright, alright, alright. Let's start it off with Chris Tyson allegations, the grooming allegations by Prison uh, 42. Originally at least released June 27th. The video that opened the floodgates, uh, Adrax, and then the uh, interview with Chud Logic. How are we feeling about these Chris Tyson allegations, guys? He's guilty. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's very disgusting because... um. Wrong. Yeah, because he's. I have made a remix to this uh, Captain Planet song. You know, Captain Chris, he's a villain touching children over 11. Wow. <laughs> wow. 11. Jesus. Okay. All right. Wow. Never let. Um, never let Sligan do that again. Sligan's. I don't I'll, even know if he was I'll trying to do sing. do it again. I don't, I don't know if he was trying to sing or rap, but either way, he. <laughs> it was no more. supposed to be monotone. All right. Drama Alert shared an old channel um, where Chris we're sharing revenge porn what's our take on this okay uh, okay yeah so is that the jeanette mccurdy thing yeah, yes so Jeanette, yeah. Jeanette, jeanette mccurdy okay. so i think we uh i think we took it took us a little bit of research because people were, were trying to make it out to be something that it wasn't i think it took us a the slight bit of research versus where he posted it and what her age was to yeah. figure out mm -hmm. that it was not what some people were claiming it was where they were claiming it was cp uh, by the time okay. that that shit was leaked, she was of age. It's still revenge porn, but it's not CP. And I, I know we saw that a few times where people were claiming it was something. Yeah, it's not that. 
Like by that point, she okay. was well into her twenties, and I know we did our research just to make sure that that was. Wait, Chris exactly Tyson what it was. likes of age people? What? No, no, he just posted yeah. porn. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very shocking. It's you still, know, very shocking. It's still revenge porn. It's still revenge porn, which is still yeah. really fucking bad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't like it. He didn't say to watch it, but he posted it. He yeah. said, "Guys, don't watch this." But here's the link. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. For says, some people says, that might want to see it. <laughs> for some yeah, people I, that might want to see it. It's, 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 completely, it's just yeah. retarded. He just says, um, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, sharing Wait, it's all private it's, business. Let me go link that real quick. It's porn of Jeanette McCurdy? Yes. Yeah, Revenge the, porn. That's uh, disgusting. Is that happening? Is that video was still up? I pictures. I think it was fappening what? pictures. Was it the first one or the second one? I was, think it was the second e one. Either way, either yeah. way, she was still of age for both. Like we made oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, just yeah. Oh, I'm I don't not, want to see I'm that, though. Sure. You know, so I'm, I'm not sure, but imagine. we did our research to see how old she was back when he posted that video. And she she was well of age. Well of age. She was, like, in her mid-20s at that point, I think. How did I that even come right about, though? Because people on Twitter were claiming that uh, this was another thing of him with CP and stuff. And we just were like, okay, we're not going to click the link that he obviously posts, but we're going to look up Janet McCurdy's age because we don't want this to be a false equivalency of people accusing yeah. him of something. And then we, so we uh, matched it up with the date for the YouTube video that he dropped, and we're like, all right, yeah, she was of age. Why, yeah, why because... Janet McCurdy? Why do you go after her? I don't know. I, don't know. I couldn't it tell was you. just part of. It was like part of the news day. I'm guessing it's like, oh, dude, yeah. look at she. Her nudes got like that's so fucked up. By the way, if you guys want to see it, not saying you should. Here's the link. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll just gave it on iCarly. Well, that's it sad. is Nickelodeon, and how much they love children. Yeah. Yeah. True. 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 I mean, Dan Schneider. True. Dan Schneider. True. Can't forget about him. Dude, it was a mistake. You guys didn't see his interview. Oh my god, oh fuck my god. <laughs> So, we, we can move ahead a little bit. We had Lava responding to both the Cheetah and um, Sensitive Society claiming that it was lies. Now, we all know we all know Lava out here basically confirmed what everybody was alleging Chris doing. Um, even though Lava says they weren't a victim, but I really want to talk about the Triton thing. Because Triton came to Lava's <laughs> defense, and for some reason, Triton oh always God. comes to the defense of these Lollicon pe uh, PDF file lovers, right? I don't know why Triton has this, and I, I put a list together of, of, of the similar people that he's uh, defended outside of Chris Tyson and Lava. We have Blade Chew, Pixel, Zero, Zell, Maya Moore, and BX Bullet. <laughs> it's just yeah. a list of All right, do we want to rank them? them from worst to best? <laughs> no, no. But I'm just, I'm just saying. I, so, I don't know why Trident, he has no food in this race because Trident has no food in this race because he has no morals. That's what I'm no saying. Morals. I said like, it on my stream. Train, Train said, I don't understand why commentary is attacking a victim. I'm like, dude, the victim in question is of age and said it themselves that they're not a victim and i don't know how triton missed that i don't know if he just didn't get the context clues or didn't actually see anything he just wanted Bro, to come it took to him the, forever to the figure age. out he was on a fucking lol cow kind of podcast he just realized it it's because of his autism this what is what i can say with triton this is what i can say with triton triton stop getting involved in lollicon and pedophile accusations because it hasn't ended up well for you thus far so just stop completely stay away from it you fucked up numerous times that's Joe it this sounds really passionate right now oh, can we can we call an announcement wait wait can we call trident no okay go ahead all right, I'm sorry. I didn't want to cut you off. I have an announcement no, and all the AWT knows about it. We finally made an AWT channel. The link to that will yeah, be in the description. Today. A lot of us learned today because you just said, yeah, I'm finally going to do it after we were like, hey, let's do an AWT channel. And you're like, hey, oh, I don't know. Hey, I guess don't what? Know. Member only you content? You decided on a random whim to do it without telling anybody. And then you're like, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do community game nights. So we're going to do a bunch of other shit. And then, <laughs> yeah. I, then when I said... Well, I still think a community, uh, like an AWT clip channel, would be good. You're like, oh, we have an AWT channel. What the fuck are the two <laughs> ideas? <laughs> to They're supposed to wait till you got to 5K, Flatly. No, no, no. We're going to keep uploading to both channels because um, we still have the members only content on this channel. Eventually, that channel will get to a point where we can monetize everything. Um, and all I the members all are going to get money. stream keys and everything so that we can do AWT streams and stuff like that. Yep. Um, it's going to be super fun. I want to host a bunch of community event nights and stuff like that there. Some giveaways, a whole bunch of stuff. 
You know, that we can celebrate when... What are we, fucking FaZe Clan? What is this? I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We could be better than this FaZe Clan. Different. This is different because instead of flatly getting all the money from AWT, we'll all be able to split it <laughs> Let's go. About <laughs> split it, what, 10 different ways? <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I cannot wait for my $1.90 check. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna write it off of my taxes. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna buy a fucking pack of fucking uh, kazoos. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Echo, go ahead. You were talking about Triton. Okay, what I was gonna say about Triton is could we officially call Triton fucking anorexic tipster? Because he's always on the defense of every <laughs> pedophile lolicon he can come across. Every yeah. time, bro. Like, it's not even fair at this point, bro. It is just, <laughs> it's dude. Very he redundant. became what he hated most. He became tipster. Yeah, and, and I want to shut down this point because I don't try and like say the thing about Blade Chew. When we say defend Blade Chew, we're saying that you made excuses for Blade Chew. We're not saying that you defended him. We're saying that you made excuses for his actions wow. multiple times. Multiple. That is the issue. I would make the argument he defended Blade Chew because in that call we yeah. heard, he's like, I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was illegal. Yeah, or anything. you're making you're making excuses for Blade Chew. You're defending him by giving him excuses in a way out. Insane. I but do you guys so ever think that he had brain damage? You guys ever put that in their account? <laughs> oh, just yeah, like Blade really you did. <laughs> nah. oh, I really don't yeah, dude. <laughs> you like as an adult should know better. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't you, you don't you guys know when you have brain damage, you take away a digit? <laughs> Wait, oh, hold on. Shoot. You guys are making fun of my boy Triton. He overdosed on autism and weed, okay? Like, he smokes a lot of Wait, weed and he's autistic. That's so me, leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> dude, there can only be one of them in this community, and I Lord, sure you Dude, slingers. we have Lord Triton right here with us. <laughs> Fuck <Slingers>. off. <laughs> yeah, Lord Triton? My yeah. name is, my name is Stupu this? Goopu, alright? <laughs> no, your, na your new name is Lord Twyton, and we will bestow upon thee thy name. Yeah. Joe, Joe, I heard you got some DMs from Shadman. Would you like to share to the class? Yeah, he says, I'm tired of you, Joe, saying I'm a lollicon and a pedophile. I hate you. Why are you so mean to me? Why are you so rude? I totally did not give Chris Tyson lollicon. You are such a loser. You're such a f I hate you. Hate you. Bro, hate oh you, hate my you. god, don't Joe. Ever, don't ever contact me ever again. Now we have written to censor that out, too. God damn it, Joe. We had to censor the last episode. How many M words were dropped in the last episode? How many M words were dropped in Toronto? How many? You, were, you want to know? You were asleep. I was. Oh asleep. shit! Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there, there the were none. I didn't have to edit it at all. I just, I just put it up. Yeah. No, let's, let's, move on. let's move on to the Snapchat uh, leaks by Gunt News. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Let's go. Ahead. Okay. No. Gunt News. Yeah. All right. What are the Snapchat leaks? I don't know what this. Oh. Oh, with the 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 gun the that's the girl that sent him the the Gucci slides, right? Um, I'm not too familiar with the Gucci slides, but this is pretty much what it was right there. And they showed evidence that they were in uh, Discord chats, they were in the server. So some of these are real. And uh, Chris Tyson, in response to this, instead of like you know um blocking the monitor, they deleted their entire Snapchat account. Dude, my my biggest issue with this is Chris Tyson wasn't even sorry that he did it. He was sorry he offended other people. Yeah, I'm still sorry this caused so many problems for everyone else, but you know what? I think I'm gonna sorry if I up. offended anybody. Shut your <laughs> bitch ass up, Chris. Honestly, bro, you need to get waxed, bro. Bring it back to how we used to do it back in the old Western time. Hang them in front of a fucking crowd, bro. Yeah, you you're offend you're oh. you're sorry that you offended people when you were caught on an on a um old Reddit account called Tyson Boy Thirty Four where you said you know you're talking about lolly gang rape porn in VR my, headsets. My issue with Dude, people right now is they're saying burn. they're saying well technically he's not a pedophile he never actually touched a child or anything like that. It's like okay, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, yeah, you really want to test that out? Do you really want to put him in a room with a kid? Are you comfortable with leaving him alone with a kid right now? I thought not. But, you know, it's, with, with, it's such a stupid. It's such a stupid bar because EDP never met up with a real kid either. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm up, they, they, de they're out there, bro. They definitely wanted that shit. You know what I'm saying? They're so weird. They're so weird. I mean, technically, yeah. EDP did nothing wrong. Am I right, fellas? And, and Chris Tyson's IC did nothing wrong. <laughs> Yeah, this is a defense this of is like a um, defense stream. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Defense, oh, it's just edgy jokes. It's just edgy jokes. And then there's a defense of oh, it's just edgy jokes. It was just edgy humor. You understand it? Wait, what are you? Dude, doing? I just love the I love the duality. Like, oh my god, dude! I love the duality of the Mr. Beast post and fucking the Chris Tice is like, oh yeah, we we decided to uh, part ways, and then Mr. Beast is like, yeah, we fired yeah, we her. We fired his ass. <laughs> 
Yeah, because he said, you know, he's a po he's sorry for offending anyone. He never groomed anyone. Dude, okay, to get back to the lava stuff real quick, the f like, okay, I get when people are like, oh, well, the victim said that nothing happened. I'm all, okay, also, the victim had stuff happen to them before they even knew it was wrong. Now they don't think it's wrong in retrospect. Doesn't mean it's not wrong to begin with. Like, if you run someone over and that person's like, oh, no, it's okay, it doesn't mean you didn't run them over. Like, it's, it's such a stupid thing to say that, oh, well, the victim didn't think it's wrong, so it's not wrong. It it's not fucking, women, like, by the morality way. work. Yeah. yeah. When they the get time abused time. and they don't realize they've been abused until after everything's said and done with. And even sometimes, like, the, the abuser will, like, either come back out of jail or somehow come back into their life. And they just instantly forgive them and will defend them to the end of the earth. Because they don't, they don't okay, know but, that it's wrong. But the, but the real question is, like, was she listening? Like, what's, like what? what, <laughs> what was... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he's got a point. Hold on. He's cooking. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I mean, so... did, did she, did she have to be told twice? Like, like, what was the reason? Well, what did she say? <laughs> so what was she wearing? What, uh, so what happened earlier? So some guy that went against Lava, well, he was, like, also a mod in Chris's old oh, server. Oh, um, he's on Nathan. Nathan, Nathan, right? He just came right. out with receipts, didn't he? Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's over, boys. It's yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, part of it, part of it was um, that um, Lava was trying to convince them to be part of a what's it called mr beast gaming channel so they could sign an nda and he based that's when he broke up his friendship with lava and then he just starts exposing like oh yeah actually i'm the other person that was involved with this that was getting groomed and these are the discords lava said this but this is what actually happened like literally just bar for bar like dis disproving like anything lava has to say and just talking about how like oh yeah actually that discord had 10 people in it and only chris chris was the only one that wasn't a minor and just like, okay, wait, oh this, you're telling me that there's way fucking more children that are involved in this than just <laughs> the one that, 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 that got, yeah, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> kind of oh, I got his, Mr. Beast Chris always Jason an apology to, uh, well, the, the thing with Nathan, the thing with Nathan, Nathan was a minor too. So they're adding on to the fact that Lava says that nothing wrong happened when he had, he, even if Lava can speak for themselves, they can't speak for nine other minors. True. That's it. Oh shit. Yeah. That's insane. This is crazy that we're even having to talk about this in 2024, bro. How I, I've learned this in 2013 year, when I was a kid. Don't pedophile. touch kids as an adult. How hard is another it to month. understand? <laughs> another month, another pedophile. Yeah, true. Another month. Dude, another 2024 pedophile. has been all like PDFs getting arrested and everything. Like, what is going on? Motherfuckers, well, motherfuckers really be getting famous and then say, "Damn, I'm really in love with kids." No cat. Like, what? What is this? Is Wait, is freaking where people are just mass producing? Is Venus in retrograde? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a question for you guys. If we're going to speak on pedophiles, can we speak on the allegations that Mr. Beast is a pedophile? He's not. Oh, the Amos oh, thread. Shut the fuck up. I don't think he is. Honestly, if, if we're going to group Mr. Beast with, with a pedophile, it really takes away from the seriousness of the issue at hand. He's based, Amos is basically making that tweet, assuming Mr. Beast is just as bad as Chris Tyson. He's doing the same gambit that Peepaw and D-Max got absolutely destroyed over. It's like, well, I didn't say it was a pedophile, but yeah, but you're making inferences that he's a pedophile. And that's the same thing D-Max and Peepaw got shambled over because of the, the issue. Well, we didn't say Magnetar was a scammer, but they were heavily, heavily inferencing it and heavily putting up, you know, the same kind of screenshots and wording things the same exact way to make you infer, to make you think that he was a scammer. Same thing that Amos is doing with Mr. Beast is to make you think that this guy is some kind of pedophile. And it's not like that at all. You know what I mean? I think I think Mr. Beast. The problem with the with the issue is is that it's his brand. It's under his watch. He has he, he owes some accountability to the situation right now. But he's definitely not the one doing the crimes. the The worst thing that Mr. Beast has done has known about it and tried to hide from it. Right in itself, I think is a crime. But I don't think he's an actual pedophile. I just think he didn't one didn't know what to say. Didn't know who to say it to. Right. Three, he probably well, was there's a whole legal system behind it too, because they were over five. Like when I guess when they knew it was like they were at a million subscribers at that time or something crazy like that, right? And I, I'm thinking he, I don't, I think he he knew Chris was saying these edgy things, but at the time, uh, it's the Call of Duty era. Like boys were dropping n bombs in videos uncensored and still yep. being monetized back in the day. You know what I mean? Like, like that was the era of YouTube, and I, I think, you know, Jimmy probably thought Chris was just being one of those edgy guys and didn't think too much of it. And then it got a little bit more real. And then you, you kind of like, 
if you were Jimmy, you're like, all right, when when did he cross the line? Because this is still my friend, and I see him every day, and he's on the payroll, and okay, maybe that's okay. Okay, maybe that's oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And then he just kind of stops talking about it, and at some point, yeah. So I just, don't know if this is part of the wrong. rumor mill. I don't know if this is part of the rumor mill, but wasn't there like something along the lines that like Mr. Beast like was trying to get him out, but then Chris pushed like legal action because he has such like a huge. Stake I heard in that the... too. I you know who I heard that from actually? I think it was Jake the Viking, because Mr. Yeah. Beast knew. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's yeah. He said Jimmy knew. He kept trying to imply that Jimmy knew about all the stuff with um Chris Eisen. The thing I hate about the Jake the Viking stuff though is that he's like, oh yeah, Jimmy knew this entire thing. So I'm like, did Wait. he? So. You knew too. It's like, why would you? Why are you trying to act like a, I think, a moralizer I think, if you knew this whole time as well? I and think, you had no. You he literally left like years ago. He had nothing stopping him unless he's somehow like he thinks an NDA will prevent him what, from fucking outing. What out I think happened yeah, was the media though. firm that was backing Mr. Beast at the time had some some legal action because they just left like two months ago. They just left this one uh, the media thing that they they're no longer um, a part of the um, the media no longer owns a share of uh, the brand Mr. Beast or whatever. Because Jimmy wanted it to go yeah. back to its roots, back to what he owned and everything like that, and do what yeah. he wanted to do. And that's when all this stuff started really coming out of the woodwork. I think that's literally it. I, I honestly think their hands were tied because there are a lot of guys like Chandler. Uh, Chandler definitely knew. Because like when I think when Chandler first got a whiff of this, because it's been implied that Chandler only knew recently within the last few years when he started his TikTok. He started reading Bible verses and everything like that trying to get yeah, right with the lord like heavily yeah. and i honestly think chandler knew and there was a time when chris was first transitioning i think that's when chandler knew because there are videos and I, I don't know if it's it's definitely not scripted there's chandler's not that good of an actor but chris will say certain things and you'll just see in the background especially in the live streams chandler will kind of cast a a, a glancing wave at him like whoa bro like all right that's a little you know he'd be a little weirded out by chris you know what i mean and people were picking it up, and then everybody's like, oh, you guys are being super analytical, super, oh, you're overanalyzing everything like that. And now that all this came out, it's like, wait a minute. Maybe maybe he knew at that time, too, and couldn't say anything. It is just super also, weird. Also, I think a second layer that a lot of people don't think about, because we don't have to worry about stuff like that. But it's like, it's not just his money he has to worry about. There's like... Dozens and hundreds, maybe hundreds of people that work for fucking the Mr. There's Beast channel. Like, that work for anything, him. anything, it's, maybe it's even thousands that brand. that are it's affiliated with them. It's like, what would happen to them if? Yeah, all those innocent people like are going to be out of a job too. Yeah, so that probably that weighs on Jimmy as well. Too. Yeah, yeah, he is a bit. He likes running a business too, so he's going to have yeah, a business mindset with this. Stuff. I I don't even have to deal with that many people, and I, sometimes I feel bad when I'm like, "Fuck it!" Like, am I really going to take food out of someone's fucking mouth just because you know disciplinary action? This is like a thousand times fucking harder than that. I feel bad because I, uh, so I'm with Faze Banks on this. Jimmy, I honestly think is a right guy. I mean, people are trying to dismantle him because he said the F slur on a couple or of streams. Or he said like, okay, he said like so bad what? baby was, um, was cute when she was like 14 and on hot wet suit. That was, like, uh, it was obviously a joke. That's obviously a joke, right? I mean, he even says it. He's like, no, yeah. I'm joking. I love, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I was kind of hoping one of you guys would say yes. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. That's literally what he says, right? I mean, that's right. that edgy humor, right? That was huge yeah. back then. It was huge. But the difference is Jimmy hasn't been caught like Onision. Jimmy hasn't been caught like Shane Dawson. I have, there's no evidence to support that, you know, Mr. Beast is like that in any way. And even if even if so, right, I still think the receipts still outweigh all the bad, like the F slurs and everything like that. Back at a time when the COD lobby era was so huge on YouTube before they had Apocalypse. This man has planted wells. This man has has you know cured blindness for some people he's cleaned up the oceans he's planting trees all this all this philanthropy what is it called philanthropy he's making mr beast burgers he's making mr. all this beast stuff chocolate bars it, you know philanthropy <laughs> when i think of philanthropy i think of like fast food restaurants i think of chocolate bars that you sell to children He's also, you know, <laughs> burying himself alive and talking about how he's buried alive and he's eating chocolate bars and Mr. Beast burgers while he's buried alive. He's eating more cheeseburgers. I mean, he's also giving oh. away tens of millions of dollars to random people. Breaking news from Burn in the AWT chat. We, we'll, we'll, get the, we'll, we'll get into the. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. We'll okay? get into that one. We'll yeah, let's 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 let's. I genuinely think that the Mr. Beast hate is just people just hating on him. 
Wait, let me see when yeah. this Mr. Beast burger by me closes because there's apparently one right by me. It's a shadow okay. kitchen. I don't okay. care. I'm ordering it. I'm ordering it. I'm gonna see how good it is. All right, whatever restaurant is near you is the one making it. I, I'm with Phase Banks. Whatever Phase Banks has honestly said in the past five years, I, I've backed. 100%, everything that happened with FaZe Clan, everything that happened with FaZe Rain, the false allegations, everything. The thing with Jake Paul, when he said Jake Paul, it's a, it's a lie and everything like that, then Jake Paul came out and said, yeah, she made up the story, trying to get, you know, f you know some boy absolutely jailed because they said FaZe Banks tried hitting some girl. Every time, every time FaZe Banks is coming to a situation, the Tfue situation, everybody right, thought FaZe Banks was a huge stop, piece stop of shit. Stop bouncing on it. Stop bouncing on it. I'm stop telling you, he's, he's right, bro. He's it. right. <laughs> no, no, he's right. That guy's Dude, also a loser. That guy's you, also a loser. Dude, if FaZe Banks told you to be the next, like, bomber for the second Twin Towers, you'd fucking do it, bro. On God, for real. I don't know real. about that, because I definitely don't agree with him cutting everybody from FaZe Clan. Dude, Mr. Beast Burger is closed. <laughs> I'm gonna try Mr. Beast Burger live on. <laughs> Wrap, wrap up your point and we can talk about the difference. Or, okay, oh, I just, I just don't think the Mr. Beast hate is warranted. And a lot of big... I mean, they've been like waiting things. for years, though. They've yeah. been trying to get him every fucking time. Like, oh, look, he thinks Africans needed help, so he gave him a well. I'm like, yeah. he went oh, to a city said, that needed a well. The <laughs> yeah. it's like, there's a difference... Okay, look, there's a difference between what Mr. Beast did and what Chris Tyson did. What Chris Tyson said, he tries to pass... She tries to pass it off as, like, a joke. So there's a difference between what Chris Tyson did and what Mr. Beast did. What Mr. Beast did was obviously a joke. What Chris Tyson was not not a joke yeah. at least how i see it it's not it's not a joke holy fuck zoom God, jesus christ how much faster can you speak holy yeah, shit yeah robin was just like assuming how many bro with rap <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was holding that in for a while <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you had to speak super fast before joe interrupted him jesus christ <laughs> I fucking love Rob. So you see, Joe's not finished all right, yet. All right, I'm not going to cap up. I was finished. sucking so FaZe Banks, dick. I, I'm a huge FaZe okay, fanboy. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. a huge FaZe yeah. fanboy. Let's wrap this up with, like, Mr. Beast's response to these allegations. Oh, <laughs> with, shit. With Tyson, where basically, it's confirmed that Chris Tyson is fired. They got the boots. While Chris Tyson said, oh, no, we left mutually. Dude, that's, that, that was such a fucking telling statement. I'm glad. Honestly, compared to, like, Chris's response... Mr. Beast is exactly how you respond to fucking allegations. Like even if even if some people say it's like super PR. Yeah, yeah I thought it was super PR. Story. I didn't I didn't expect that. I'm gonna be real. I don't know what yeah, I was just, actually the, expecting, but definitely not that. The perfect part is just like yeah, we're not investigating it. We're hiring a third party to investigate, it. and this this like just denouncing everything, like without having to fucking be like oh well, I, you know I'm kind of in a bad space and you know, like I was going through a tough time and oh well I'm gonna go take a break right now. It's like you're literally not engaging with anything. This guy literally came on. He's not even the one being alleged to have done anything. I mean before that, like realistically speaking, the bulk of allegations were against Chris, and he came out and actually gave the responses Chris should have given. Now Mr. B shouldn't come out and give the responses that Chris should be giving. He has to do it because of fucking you know everything associated with it. Yeah, and also like the brand of Mr. Beast, because like um, optics wise, this looks very bad for the business. Because like, if he leaves Chris there, he still defends Chris. All the brands are gonna pull out, and that's not good for the business. He's gonna lose lots of money, and he's gonna lose lots of subscribers if he keeps yeah. going. Yeah, it hurts the brand. They should have got rid of him a long time ago. A lot of people were saying that. Well, now he's being branded, uh, or she's being branded as a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, fuck this shit. He. Whoa, burn. Whoa, burn. I'm gonna burn. Whoa, burn. Whoa, burn. Whoa, burn. Whoa, burn. Gonna... Why don't you order yourself a Mr. Beast burger and you calm down? Because they're all closed. Didn't like Mr. Beast like shut them down? No, <laughs> no. I have no, one that opens. Mr. Beast burger, you cut. Mine opens how about that? How about that? How about that? You know what's funny? They probably closed in Burns area because Burn has all the ones that were really, really bad. Also, no, apparently, by the burn. way, I can order the Chris style Mr. Beast burger. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, it doesn't. <laughs> does it come oh, with no. Does it come with Does it come with a uh, it, it comes with, a, uh, comes with Shadman artwork? It comes with, yeah, it comes <laughs> with, it comes with artwork. Speaking of us, it, it comes with the Shadman puzzle. Yeah, speaking so of shit, let's move on to uh, Cope and See, they can't bake us the crabs, mega threat, calling out. Hold on, hold on, I gotta finish with the Mr. Beast. No, oh, it's not the Joe okay, show, well, shut up. Uh, hold on, hold on. I haven't Did said anything for like the shut past up, little TJ bit. Green. Fuck off, fuck off, let me finish, shut up. I haven't said anything for the past little bit. I will be Stop interrupting me. <laughs> I will say the N-word, so Flatley has to censor it out. Why am okay. I being punished? <laughs> yeah, why am I being punished? <laughs> the fuck? 
<laughs> say say you won't pussy. W you won't pussy. Say it right now. Have, we'll have the Chris style burger. Oh my god. On the it's next so day, unimportant. WT. And I literally the least important it, thing. And I will let you guys know if it if it is. Shut the fuck up. I will let you guys know if it is actually pedophile. <laughs> if it tastes like a pedophile, wait, what? <laughs> Stop server muting me. I can't finish what I'm saying because you're server muting me. The last thing me. you said was pedophile. <laughs> then it fucking cut off. <laughs> you guys are trying to move on. We can't. You know what? You guys are yapping about I, Mr. Beast being a pedophile question. and Chris Tyson being a pedophile and Destiny's a pedophile and Boogie's a pedophile. Fuck it. Everyone is. Fuck it. Everyone's a pedophile. Let's just go on with it. Fuck it. Master oh, not everybody. AWT. Whoa, yeah. No, wait a minute. Wait, Robin, did we go over the Amos tweets where Amos was yeah, just being retarded? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did. Just, what are your thoughts then? You're not even paying attention. I knew that. I knew okay. that. Okay, then what are your thoughts then, Burn? What are your thoughts on it? The Amos thing? I just, ironically, I have the same thoughts as lyrics. Uh, Like, this entire thread is, like, bullshit. Shows nothing. It's in completely bad faith. Most of it's just out of context and censored by fucking Amos. You can obviously see it's censored by Amos. So, like, it makes a worse context and worse meaning than it actually was. And, like, in the end, like, I'm not trying to paint him as a pedophile. You know, you were insinuating most hardcore that he was, you know, talking about minors very, very weirdly. Right. Like, Jesus. It's suggestive Why? imagery of minors, basically. Yeah, I was like, Jesus. You would agree with Lyrics, another lollicon enthusiast like Chris no, Tyson. No, fuck Lyrics. <laughs> Fuck, Larry. See, Fuck my opinion on that, my opinion on that, it's, I just find it kind of ironic, like, a, a former Lollicon, we don't know if he still is, uh, he, he, you know, is going, he's calling another <laughs> Lollicon. <No. laughs> like, this, guy, this guy is, like, the last person that yeah, should be Larry's... speaking on this. Yeah, yeah, Lyrics got outed so many times as a Lollicon. Yes. It's, in, it's insane. It's insane that, like, like he goes after Mama Max. Well, he can come back. He can. He's back in the fucking. He's back in the circle, guys. Like no, yeah. like no. That's either, not how it works. I, I, I either four times. Yeah, either like make your mind. Okay, do you like Larry's or do you not like him? Okay, do you think he's a freak or he's been vindicated? If that's the case, just say he's been vindicated. Okay, just say that. Be consistent. Larry and Chris Tyson are coming to my Mr. Beast Burger convention, where we're gonna eat Mr. Yeah. Beast Burger. You can, you, you can, bro. uh, you can review the Shadman art. Anyway, before we head on, I'm to, not reviewing uh... that. Whoa, whoa, hold up! Before you, like, no, you, I see you trying to like derail and go to the next topic. You're not gonna accuse me of Shadman art, okay? I just wonder what the parents feel like because you know, okay. no, I mean, I there's parents you. out there that have pictures of. Their kids and Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast. I wonder what they're thinking right now. Like, oh shit! You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, that's no way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you think about the Amos thread, <laughs> Joe? Before we move on. Um, if my child had anything to do with Shadman or Chris Tyson, uh, I have what is called. This is a Smith and Wesson SD9. Oh my PE. god. And uh, Joe, stop fed posting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Amos thread is the one, if I'm not mistaken, where he lists a bunch of people who talk to Shadman. I no, think it's just no, no it's not. Thing. No, it's the one where he posts clips of um <laughs> of like his twerking, and he says that he tries to incite with something Mr. Beast that thread. It's not oh, the no. one. Where uh, uh, okay, short answer on the Mr. Beast twerking thing. Uh, Mr. Beast, in hindsight, <laughs> that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, go, go. Uh, let him go. Let me, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Because I just let you guys talk and I want to interrupt. Him, so let me cook. Let, uh, let, me let cook. him cook a Mr. Beast burger. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm hungry right now too. That's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Uh, the twerking thing in a hindsight looks very bad. Uh, it, and it is very bad. Like, it, it's both of those things. Back in those days, people would make fun of shit like that all the time. And when I say back in those days, it's not like it was the fucking, you know, 20, 30, 40... But 2016 was a very different time than 2014 or 2024 or anything like that. Like, all these different ages of YouTube are very different. Uh, do I think Jimmy, Mr. Beast, is a pedophile? Absolutely not. Do I think that he did something in hindsight that now we know is really bad? Now that, like, if you even look at it and you think about it, 
is pretty bad. Absolutely. Was there a chance that you viewed it back in the day and you laughed at it? Absolutely. G uh, Jimmy, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Burger, the Chris Tyson Burger. He is not a bad person at all. Okay. He he's not. I do not think for a second that Mr. Beast is a pedophile. Do I think Chris Tyson is a degenerate loser, lollycon loving pedophile? Probably. That's it. Okay. Now let's move on to the big one that we're all waiting for. Beckett of Crab's uh, post calling out anyone who's ever associated with Shadow. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is what I wanted to get it. This yep, is let's get it what I mistook. This is what I mistook. Uh, okay. So it uh if uh short I will give my short answer and let everybody go. Uh short answer. If the Shadman stuff happened before he got called out for the Daphne Keen and Keenstar daughter stuff. And even if you look deeply into it, you know, if you knew about the weird lollycon shit that he drew, if you talked to Shadman before that, or if you didn't know about any of that, because there is a chance even after all that happened that you didn't know that Shadman did that, you're, those people should not be canceled. If it happened afterwards and you knew, you are guilty. You are guilty. It's that simple. I, I think I can make an argument that there might be people who didn't know even after the reveal happened. There might have been people who don't know because no one could claim they knew everything and that they were in the commentary community back then and that they knew all the drama with Shatman mm -hmm. around before that uh, because there could have been people who had nothing. Like, I, I'm giving a small benefit of the doubt to say that there might have been people who commissioned art from Shatman that didn't know. I think those people were innocent. And if it was before everything got revealed, those people are in innocent as well. But I think anything that happened during and after and you knew, or or anything, if you looked at those pictures, you're guilty. Like, Elvis the Alien saw those pictures, defended it, he's guilty. I don't think he's yeah. a pedophile or anything, but he's guilty. But I think there is a nuance to this. I think there's a big nuance to this. And not every single person who's ever interacted with Shadman is guilty. Otherwise, people like Oni and G, Aaron Hansen, Psychic Pebbles, uh, a bunch of Newgrounds artists, they're guilty before even knowing Shadman did anything like this. Yeah. Well, cause especially because you know? a lot of them didn't even know exactly what was going on. They just housed him because he, he got kicked out of school from Sweden and they just yeah. moved him over. Yeah, they really don't know what's going on. The school just didn't verify what the fuck he did. They said yeah. he was a menace to society. What the what the fuck does that mean? Like if I said, oh yeah, Burn is a menace to society. What the fuck does that mean he in is. America? Like, that, <laughs> like yeah. I'm sorry, you're the first person I looked at. <laughs> you're gay, man. You're gay. Fuck you. No, I mean, -uh, it is true. -uh. He is gay. Well, bye. Oh, fuck Honestly, you. I would agree with you right there. I am a menace. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you get offended then? No, the the COVID <laughs> thing. Right? That's uh, Beckett of Crabs, right? Yeah, yeah, Becky yeah. Crabs and his uh, co -host. He's getting a lot of backlash. Yeah, yeah why did he too? make that yeah. mega threat? Well, yeah, because... He honestly thought he was going to win with that. He honestly thought he was going to win. Let's be honest. Yep. Yeah, and he's like, but it's for ar archival purposes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah all right, buddy. Oh, okay. That's the first time I ever heard him talk about Mr. Beast, though, if I'm going to be real. Yeah, I'm surprised Mr. Beast was on that thread. No, Drama Alert says that Mr. Beast had a connection to Shadman just because he replied to a comment of Shadman's drawing of Hell of Hella from Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> That's it. Worst movie, by the way. Worst Mr. Thor movie. Yes. By the way, I want to point out that Chris Tyson in that uh, addressing the allegations tweet, he said he's done. A, he's grown a lot since those allegations, and then Keemstar blew that whole fucking lie out of the thing. He's like, you didn't say anything about my daughter when I confronted you two months ago about it. And I was like, oh. Oh, shit. Dude, you know what's real? Because Keemstar never leaks private shit. No. He will no. literally go to the grave. You could tell him you killed someone, and he will never report about it unless you come out publicly with it. And he even apologized for fucking doing that, too. Like, he was like, yeah, usually I don't do that, but, you know, this is such a serious thing to me. And the fact that it had to do with my daughter is why I did it. And I will never do it again. But I had to do it because this person's pretending they didn't get confronted with this. And they didn't even apologize. That's the fucking craziest part. They had two months to fucking, like, figure this out before exactly. they got exposed, and they never did nothing. I don't blame Keemstar. Like, I think any of us in this call, if we had a daughter, or even a son, like, well, let's not even make it a daughter thing. If it was a daughter or a son, and, yeah. like, yeah, we'd be in that same position. Like, 
I, I would. I'm DMs. just shame. I would, I'm I would airing them out on Twitter, like, and then I'm getting an address. I don't care. I don't care what people think yeah. of me for that. I'm getting an address. <laughs> I don't care. Nice. It's over. I'm meeting you face to face. This is weird yeah. because this whole situation with the Beckett and Krabs thing, like, did he, like, I haven't seen the thread, and I, uh, I is it linked the in the docket? Shit. Is it linked in the yeah. docket? Yeah, it's all linked, it's, it, everything is literally in the it's docket. <laughs> Joe, pull the docket I'm up. Saying, you like, made I want to make us. sure I, I want to make sure I click the link so I can read out names. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, really it's Beckett and Krabs thread, here it is. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yes. I trust Robin, like, Robin, by the way, base. Yeah, yeah everything's but, uh, right there. Yeah, but yeah he, he Oh, go ahead, doc, hey, you know what's funny? Why the docket he... isn't a PDF oh, file. <laughs> yeah, why did he do the thread like this? This is why didn't he just because list names? I don't like. I don't agree. With not Robin. I'm saying Becca the Crabs. Why did he yeah. just like post screenshots and not names? Because this thread That's... like shows. Hold, hold on, okay. this thread shows fucking Twitter personalities too. Like Twitter NSFW accounts. Like of yes, course there they're were. gonna be degenerates. They're not. The argument that Nick, that fucking Optimus, that fucking Ricky Berwick, that Larix, and even fucking Beckham and Crabs, these were popular YouTube personalities. Why the fuck are there fucking Twitter and SFW accounts? There were some in there. Thread? Like, I'm supposed I... to fucking care. Like, I don't yeah. care about Twitter and SFW accounts. Of course they're going to be fucking degenerate. Yeah, of like, course uh... they're going to be degenerate. Yeah, like, am I surprised Marunia, this NSW account named Marunia, interacting with Shadman? Am I surprised about that? No, like, there's a W there's account. Like a fucking VTuber gamer in there that, like, no one knows. Uh, I that there is? Guy. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. A 167k, like, YouTuber who probably didn't know anything about Keemstar, he's on the thread. Your favorite YouTube personalities, rando fucking VTuber guy that probably no one knows. Like, you know, Beck and the Crabs dug deep and deep and deep. Like, he dug so far to 2012 with fucking Psychic Pebbles, saying that, oh, in 2012, Psychic Pebbles said, oh, Shadman's my friend. Condemned to pedophilia! Like, what? Yeah, I you I are, think that point is ridiculous fucking, because you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fucking like you're gonna have to fucking censor this moral fucking fact that like I don't all say these slurs. guilt by association arguments are the worst fucking things because these are the same people that'll cry guilt by association if you do the same shit to them but you have a mega thread of fucking guilt by association you breathe the same air as fucking Shad man you said hello to him in 2012. Pedophile. Yeah, I, I do like, agree. What? I think and the it keeps, it, it keeps the, star like like oh I finally I finally get my justice after tw after eight years I finally got my justice it's like where's Shadman now this is his website he's, gone he's you a little bit just banished already. he got like, banished you, to the ether <laughs> everyone's <laughs> shadow wait him. what what more did you want Keemstar everyone to be banned off of Twitter everyone to be banned off of YouTube if they associated with fucking Shadman like what else did you want. I think, I think the Shadman. biggest justice preserved. Now you're like, well, oh, well, Keemstar's oh, always been like this, though. Keemstar's always been like this, I mean, though, when it comes uh, to as a father, though. If I was a father, justice isn't deserved until he's dead. I'm gonna be real with you. But the thing, the the thing with that, I have a problem with this thread, is that it's, there's never a clear answer to that. Every fifty people that are fucking shown on here clearly knew that Shadman did what he did. I just know yeah, there's think, nothing um, like definitive of it. Yeah, is the docket even talk? like how is this labeled? Like, is it even like people who associated with? It's just so open ended, actually. It's basically it's too open ended. Don't, don't, yeah, yeah no, wait, flatly. If you associated with fucking Shadman in any way, you made the list. Yeah, do here's you think a good example about it. We Here, thought it'd be interesting good... to track some of your favorite creators' interaction with Shadman over the years. Welcome to the Mega Thread. He definitely posted this as if it was going to be some kind of own. And then, a good example. I, I like I like the other creators. I'm not gonna lie, some of them I do respect, but a lot of them have cried. You know, when when we have used guilt by association in certain situations. Yeah, I know. Well, here's a good one I could point out. I'm looking through the Shadman thread right now. So Jessica yeah. Negri, she goes very far back in YouTube, very far back, 2011, 2012. Cosplayer, yep. She, one of the first. Cosplayer, yes. I do not think for a second, and this is me personally, that Jessica Negri knows that Shadman drew sexualized images of Keemstar's daughter and Daphne King. Because Jessica Negri doesn't follow YouTube like that. She's a cosplayer. She's a cosplayer. You expect me mm. to believe that a lot of these people I'm seeing know this commentary 
which is where all the Shadman stuff blew up. It wasn't in the Newgrounds animator stuff. It wasn't in the cosplay area. It yeah. wasn't in a lot of stuff. It was in the commentary community. Which, I, like, I'm not sitting here and saying Shadman's right, because if you remember... Augie, Nick, Turkey Tom, Bo Blacks. These were people who were vehemently against Shadman at the very fucking beginning when Elvis the Alien and all these other people were defending Shadman. These were people who were like, fuck this shit. Jessica Negri is one of them old school people that I don't think follows. And Jessica Negri sees a Shadman sexy Kylo Ren drawing and goes, I'm gonna do this. this like, to try to pinpoint every single person who's ever interacted with someone. All right, guys, let's pinpoint everyone who's left a comment on an EDP video. Let's well, pinpoint the, every The thing with this, though, the thing with the Jessica stuff, though, is that she went and was actively deleting them as they were screenshotting them without addressing them at all. Well, it came so out. Even, it even, even if worst, well, even if worst thing scenario... Let's say like worst like worst case scenario, none of these people actually knew about the fucking Shadowman. Would you want to know that you were replying to someone that was fucking a pedophile that you can come out and do what Ricky Berwick did and apologize to Kim and also denounce fucking Shadman? So I'm taking like the best best case scenario for fucking for uh, Becca the Crabs. Like, wouldn't like if he was doing this for let's say that reason, whatever the hell, wouldn't you as a creator want to know that you and even endorse someone even a little bit? And would we like to fucking have the ability to take that back? Yeah, I would like for it to not be public either, though. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, like... the, the thing with the thing is, it's not it's not a private thing though. It's all of this, all these tweets are public. Yeah, which like, is why a lot of like creators don't back and delete them. I would love no for someone to be now. like, "Hey, man, you know, so and so did this back in the day." I was like, "What? Who the fuck is that?" Oh, he's just dude. You gotta look at all this stuff with the Keem family. Oh shit, I interacted with them. They, we have that ability. Yeah. These yeah. these creators talk to each other. Yeah, not not thing. all, the, but yeah, not all the creators do. But the thing is that she, like so Jessica everyone Negri hears about the Chris knew ev- because everybody was talking about it. That's the only way she found out. Though she found out through the Chris Tyson stuff, and instead of saying, "Hey, I may have interacted with this person," I totally denounced them. She went and was tried to delete the tweets before this thread was ever a thing. Well, like, okay. like there was no, there was no way that she saw Copen C posting one receipt and was like, "Oh shit, let me go delete my Shadman post." No, there's no way she was individually going by herself and deleting her own post because she didn't want a connection to this. Okay, okay. when it's such so, an easy thing to denounce it, it's such an easy thing to denounce and just say I didn't know uh, what's going uh, on. Uh, okay, okay. So there's two arguments to that, right? Like, there, on one end, there's your argument, which I don't necessarily disagree with, but everybody's gonna respond to something like that differently. They're gonna see that and go. Well, I want to delete this because this no longer stands by. You can't sit there and say they did it just to not look bad. You can also be like, well, I want this deleted because I don't stand by this anymore. Like, you can't sit there and speak for a person, right? But if you're going to delete something, it. if but if you're going to delete something, you should actually address why it's deleted if you know it's a public thing. I don't disagree, but you can't sit there and say, like, this person deleting it and not putting out a denouncement tweet is wrong when it was how many years ago? Like, I think that's pointless. I think that's pointless when this person might not have even known until just now what this person did. Like, that that's such a bad thing. That's like watching a Kevin Spacey movie in 2024, not knowing that he did what he did, and then you go... I really like this movie. I think Kevin Spacey was really good. I'd love to see him in more shit. And then someone goes, oh, did you know that he he molested a bunch of people? And then you're like, oh, I denounced Kevin Spacey. Like, that's ridiculous. Whereas in people who actively knew what Shadman was doing, like Elvis the Alien and defending it, I think that's a way worse thing. I think deleting tweets, like saying I was involved with this person to some extent is a much lesser, it's a much lesser offense. I don't think every single person has to come out and because that's retarded. That's a retarded uh, uh, precedent to say every single person who's ever associated with someone who's done something bad has to go and fucking outright denounce it. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, there's, that's right. true. That's true. But at the same time, if all these people are treating it like a brand and they don't want the fucking hit from it, they should be the first ones announcing it. Because by trying to hide it and doing all this slimy bullshit, you're actively trying not to be involved with it so that you don't have the bad stick in your hand. When all they had to do was literally just come on and say, oh shit, literally Ricky tried fighting it for a second and then they realized, holy shit, actually wait, 
what I'm doing is fucking wrong. I don't want to be associated with all these lollicons trying to uh, defend me. He had lollicons it, actually trying to defend him, thinking that he did nothing wrong. And he yeah, actually no. say, fuck that. No, wait. Defending me is the wrong answer. I actually am sorry about this. I talked to Kim privately. That's why that's why Ricky is the only person Kim started fucking Mark off the list. So, you know, Ricky, Ricky is the and, only one that uh, apologized out of this entire list. And other, some of these creators lied, such as Nux Taku. <laughs> And Elvis the <laughs> alien. <laughs> Bro, well, dude, he... Well, before we get into the... Not, the not before, thing, before... Well, look... but... Oh my god, bro. There's... That was like but... 30 He's kind minutes of ago. I'm, I'm, just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, though, there's a difference between actively defending what Shadman did and yeah. being involved did. with him. I don't Didn't think we have this it... argument before? Yes, but Joe just loops. No, no, no. I'm saying we had this argument about something else where you said it doesn't matter if they defended it or not. By avoiding it, they're enabling it, which is the same as defending I've, I've, it. I've never said that, no. I've never said about that. About the AJ no. stuff? Nope, never said that, no. AJ actively knew it happened. He knew. There's a difference between people who didn't know until now. Well, right? we can't prove if they knew or not. But we can't prove if they knew or not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But Especially when we have a lot of people lying about it. And if you're yeah, deleting we... tweets, you know about it then. Why don't you say that? Hold on, then? hold on, hold on. We, but the AJ situation, that's a terrible comparison because AJ did know. He did know and covered up for it. He actively admitted so that. So you're he... saying Jessica didn't cover up for it by deleting her tweets before anyone could, be, uh, not before anyone can archive them, but try to attempt to delete them? No, 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 no. You're misconstruing. AJ actively knew the entire time. Knew while he was friends with the guy, played Fortnite with the guy, actively knew the entire time and covered up for it. There's no, there is no evidence that Jessica knew ever. Or any, uh, a bunch of these people knew what was going on. That, that no, yeah, there's no, 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 for most of the that's, people, you can't, you can, no, 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 for that's the most of the people, comparison. for, no, 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 it's not, for most of the people, you can't prove it, but the fact that she knew exactly what tweets to look up to, to delete, and knowing exactly what it could cause for her, is very indicative that she at least knew doing it was wrong, and instead of apologizing for it, she tried to hide it, and is not reacting to it at all. No, no, I disagree, because AJ actively knew while it was going on, still covered up for the guy. And still covered up and lied to a bunch of people about knowing. This is a terrible comparison. I don't believe I don't, it is at all. I don't, I don't think know it is how at all. you can make this comparison because somebody learning something happened and deleting that they had any interaction because they're disgusted could be. An no, that's just the best case. That's just the best case scenario with it. Yeah, that's looking, just the best you're, case you're scenario. Assuming, you're assuming a bad and worst case scenario, but you're comparing it to the AJ situation where he actively knew the entire time. That th this comparison makes no sense. It no, I'm saying even I'm saying in the best case scenario where she doesn't know when she learns about it, the first thing she does is not call it out and doesn't denounce it is to delete and hide from it. Yeah, but but what you're saying is you're comparing it to the AJ scenario. I never defended the AJ scenario. I never even defended him. And then when he got out, and he lied to people. Everybody denounced him. AJ I don't, actively knew. We don't you have proof that any of these people knew. AJ. No, we, I wasn't saying you agreed with the AJ thing. I'm saying you're giving the exact opposite argument for her because you can't prove she knew or not. And before, 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 before we got that tweet from Ace Haller, we couldn't even prove it or not when I pushed you guys on it privately. Any of that, though. No, so but, no, but when we went through, no, 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 no. We didn't, I didn't say you defended AJ. it. We didn't say it. Yeah, we didn't say that at all. I'm just saying by you're giving her so much charitability when there's not any charitability to know because she immediately deleted the the, the tweets. She deleted the tweets. She did, She saw something wrong, deleted the tweets. Didn't address it. I'm giving that's, all that's these... Bare bones. That's bare bones. She, no, delete, she saw something bad these... happen. She saw something bad happen. No, you can give all the other people, all the other people that didn't lie benefit of the doubt. You can't give her benefit of the doubt because she learned it was wrong, deleted the tweets, didn't address it. You can't you can't move that bar from there. She deleted the tweets knowing that something was wrong at the bare minimum. Okay. So here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. One, yes, you did compare it to the AJ thing, which is a complete different thing. Like, don't pretend you didn't do that. Like, do I did I did compare it. I yeah. did compare it. I didn't say you defended I didn't say you defended AJ. That's what your whole hookup assistant. No, but it, it is a bad comparison. It it's is a bad, a bad comparison. comparison. Yes, it is. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because, yes, it is. 
Second. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, yes, it is. Speaking of lying, we're segueing. We're segueing. We're segueing. We're segueing. So next. Okay, wrap up your point, Joe. Joe, wrap up your point. I don't care anymore. You loop for like thirty minutes at a time. And you take up half the fucking talk time. Fuck Shut off, up. Fuck off. You've looped and gone at people and spoken for people before. I don't care. Shut up and let me fucking when? finish my point. Okay, wrap it up. I thought you said you finished your point. You know, no. we're going to loop. Here's the thing, right? You're sitting here and claiming. This oh is my what you're god, claiming. here he goes and loops. I'm done. <laughs> just, bro. I can't. just wrap it. Just wrap it up. Wrap it up. Hey, see, I got interrupted again. Shut the fuck up, Sligan. Shut up for once. Okay, <laughs> All right, hypocrite. <laughs> hey, no. Shut up, Sligan. Shut up. Hypocrite. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, you're sitting here and claiming something, right? You're claiming that by not deleting tweets or or by deleting tweets or or whatever the case is that these person these people, the all these people are guilty. You you cannot for a second sit there and say that someone deleting tweets makes them guilty and that they have to apologize when they might have just learned about the situation and go I don't want to be associated. I can sit there and say, I don't want to be associated with something and delete tweets saying that I was associated the, the, with them at one point. When people dig into it like Beckett of Crabs, right? And he tries to associate every single person who's ever talked to Shabman or has shared a photo of Shabman or anything like that ever. None of those people owe apologies because they were associated even if they didn't know. That's retarded. That's stupid. That'd be like if me going down the street, I mean a homeless man, he raped a woman back in 98 and I gave him a dollar and then I figured out later on through the news that this motherfucker raped another woman, I would have to go out and apologize to people. That's retarded. But if I knew this homeless man raped somebody, I gave him a dollar, went about my day, and then he raped another person. I'm guilty. I knew it happened. That's a retarded argument to make. It's so That's stupid. not even equivalent. That's not even equivalent. Ow. But in Ow. sake in sake of the episode, in sake of the episode, because Ow. it's gonna no. go on for too long. How is this stupid? Because because because, because no no no. Because because the fact that she actively found out that what Chris was doing through Shadman was wrong. Instead of addressing it, she goes and deletes the tweets. At the bare minimum, she is guilty of not addressing what the allegations are. She could literally have stopped any of this by just saying, oh, I had no idea about this. Boom, this is it. But instead, she deletes the tweets and it's hiding. I'm not saying she's guilty of anything other than not addressing the fucking, the why she, why she interacted with Shadman, what she knows about Shadman, and fucking why she deleted the tweets. Well, deleting the tweets and hiding is guilt. Deleting tweets and hiding is guilt of not addressing anything. I'm not saying anything more than that. No one's beholden to fucking sit there and admit anything mm. or apologize or anything like that if they're not guilty of knowing. That's stupid. That's dumb. That's what this whole thing no one, is. No one is saying. No one is saying that she's. No one is saying is that she needs to address it. But by not addressing it, she can't be mad about the outcome. If you don't address something. And you have the ability to address something to a large audience, oh, you cannot okay, cry yeah. about it. I see, I see. Everyone see else that? in this thread, everyone else in this thread that is not guilty of anything dangerous and doesn't delete tweets can't fucking be held accountable. You're right. They can't be held accountable because there's nothing proven they knew anything. The fact that she even went out of her way to delete the tweets as they're being screenshot before anyone, before they think anyone else can take the screenshots. Is guilt of them knowing what they they did something wrong at the very least and don't want to address it. I I, I just disagree. I disagree. <laughs> All right, then that's it. That's we can end it right there. All right, moving right forward. There. Moving forward. Can, what do we got next on the dagger boys? Uh, um, no, we're still going on. By the way, if you guys ever interrupt me while I'm talking about something again, like fuck off. You, you do it to you other guys people. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Okay. There are people in the thread. Oh, boys, though, let's save it for the showers. The, um, so, yeah, in the docket, there are people who did lie and didn't know about the Shabman stuff. One of them being Elvis the Alien, who, in spite of all this, decided to deactivate his Twitter account. Yep. And <laughs> Nux Haku, who said, oh, uh, he just oh, sent me some boy. weird DMs, but, in it, but he actually asked for a collab with him. 2022, and then he, right? He act, he, yeah, he, nope. he also used um, an NSFW, like a censored NSFW uh, artwork of Shadman's of Arya Stark, who is a child. Um... Uh, you know, as one of his thumbnails. Who is and that? And he said, nah, it, it, Arya Stark I, from Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones. Anyways, uh, so so basically, he he's a liar. He said all, all, he, all, all he did was send me some weird DMs. No, you 
quite literally asked to collab with him. And then you use some of his NSFW artwork of a child on your fu- censored uh, on one of your thumbnails. It's so funny about that too, is because like the video that he trying, they're all trying to disprove. Like, oh no, well look, in the beginning, Nux literally disavowed Shadman, not knowing that that took place this year when the Chris allegations came out, and the actual video that takes place after 34 seconds is him interacting with fucking uh, Quiet, talking about all the stuff he did with Shadman. Literally from three years ago, before anyone before anyone knew that he had a connection to fucking Chad. And then, like like Sligan said, he's responding to him on Twitter, getting denied by a fucking pedophile to collab with them. Which is the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. He got denied by a pedophile. Like, oh, I don't really want to hang out with you. That's yeah. fucking... Uh, so uh, that's the biggest... You know. Imagine being so insufferable that... that <laughs> That even a pedophile doesn't want to work. I don't. With you. I don't know why Muda keeps on the podcast. I, I really don't, know, don't know, bro. Why. He actually derails so much of the fucking some ordinary podcast. It's 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 not even funny. Yeah. They're like talking about something else, and he's like, "Anyways, guys, my Aiden Ross clip of the week," and we're just like, "I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, shut up, bro. Let them continue to talk. Shut up." Yeah, if you're he, forgetting oh, dude, time. He... His voice infuriates me. Okay, he always sounds like he's on drugs, and secondly, people forget that he brought on a guy who wrote actual lollicon hentai onto the Samurai podcast, like, back in, um, I think What's it was the guy's roughly, name again? I fucking forgot. Uh, Hard Vegan. Hard Vegan. Hard Vegan, there you go. Yeah, they brought him on. That's me explaining to you, Nox. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so so to go back to the Elvis the Alien stuff real quick, because we skipped over some, like, very, very important details of him lying. Yep. Like he literally, he literally unlisted a video on his channel where he actually said that fucking Shadman draws little girls, and his sister yeah, gives I, him like a weird look, like what? No, like wait, what wife. did you just say? That's or his, his wife? My bad. Sister. My bad. White. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> she she's stuck there. All right. Elvis, Elvis the alien. I think your wife should leave you. Just saying. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> in the same video, the people ruined everything that's unlisted. Um, he even went to his website too, and uh, he even looked at the Incredibles comic by Shadman depicting um violet and um mrs incredible so he knew damn well about it i refuse to believe that i said oh no it was just edgy humor i thought he was just getting shut down but i thought it was a previous speech i like but no no i don't buy it i really don't buy it, it it's so crazy because at the time like the whole free speech thing the whole free speech movement got so twisted that they believed like oh everything's free speech that they got into fucking defending an actual pedophile they yeah, defended yeah. a pedophile's fucking website and still could not explain why they did that. Yeah, and some people have responded to the thread. I know, um... Who's Chaos, Dave, which I'm, I I like Chaos, because I watch his whole little group sometimes. when I, or Well, sometimes, but also when I was younger. And I was like, yes, let's go! He he, he didn't know, and he, had, he just found out. So, well, I think his yeah. response is pretty good. Yeah, or paper bag. He where he took a picture with Shadman. He literally said he met him at E3 in LA six years ago, and he was um, he was his friend's roommate. So that doesn't really prove anything that he knows about it. Like that that proves nothing. This entire thread that Beckett yeah. across made, along with Tosify's help, just proves nothing. <laughs> like like we said, Bird, if you breathe the same air, yeah. Shadman. You're just as guilty. So you I got I got a, a scenario. So let's say we'll, we'll use a uh, first guy that comes to mind, Noah J, right? Say they go to one of these like Twitch kind of events, right? Shadman is there. Shadman obviously is fans of other creators, right? Shadman takes a picture with Noah J. Noah J doesn't know who he is. Is now Noah J complicit with being Shadman? Because I feel like no, that happened doesn't, a lot. It doesn't these, matter. He could go on Twitter and admit that uh, he, he walked past Shadman and that he was wrong for walking past Shadman. This is like this sounds like a bad taste in music fucking scenario. <laughs> yeah, well, look, if I took a picture with Shaman and I and keep on, okay, let's say I knew nothing about Shaman, I took pictures of him because I thought it was cool, and then I found out later about the stuff like that. I'm not that doesn't mean that like I was complicit in everything he did. If I knew about it, then like oh shit, I took a picture of this guy, I didn't know this, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna apologize for it because I didn't know. No, you I should go know? on Twitter and apologize and say I didn't know. You should do that. No, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, you got to. Yes. Yep. I'm, I'm not gonna apologize. Yeah. How was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah, if it. you find out, if you find out, you should do what freaking what's his name? Uh, who's chaos did and say, hey, I didn't know about that. I responded to popular memes. I disavow anything he has to do. Literally the best mm. response you can give to I mean, that. I, oh, okay. I, I also see fucking Too Mad here. Like, well, Too Mad can't fucking respond. He's dead. He's, he's dead. He yeah, can't why respond. did he put Too Mad on there? Bro? All right, L Too Mad. <laughs> L Too Mad. 
but here's the kicker. Somebody Dan, get him. Maybe James Key wasn't. No, hold on. Damn, J- this is what the kicker is. Damn, maybe James Key wasn't lying after all. It's like, like, why? What does this have to do with that? I don't know. And then there's Wait. um. Post- I mean, James Key did lie about Too Mad entirely. Not even a single truth. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's the post of Aki like Dearest. Rusty Cage. Rusty Cage is speaking German. Uh, <laughs> Nazi, got him. <laughs> Wait, uh, did, Rusty, did Rusty Cage have any interaction with Shadman? Because he should go out and immediately denounce it, even if he didn't know what's going on. He should immediately <laughs> yep. fucking yep. denounce Literally. it. Literally. <laughs> Literally, yes. That's the easiest way to resolve this. Yeah, no, no, because not everybody's going to know retard. <laughs> and they yeah. should go out and publicly announce they don't know. That's literally how you kill rumors. What? Oh my god. If if there's a rumor going around that one of these people is a pedophile, should they just not address it at all? Should they just let the rumor mill fucking just keep calling them a pedophile? Yes. Hey guys, guess what? This homeless man that I walked by, he's a pedophile. You can't keep bringing up the homeless man. You can't bring up the homeless man. This is like saying you this is like saying you became friends with someone, you find out they do something bad, you denounce their actions and disassociate for them. It's the easiest thing. If it happened before you became friends, you could literally denounce and say, I had no clue about this. I interacted with them after I that. You, I had no I idea that happened. Just, I think you just want people to come out publicly and I think you just like that seeing on Twitter. I think you like seeing a bunch of people. <laughs> I just I, mean, I like, like people I clarifying their stances on things. That's the stupidest thing. I like I like, I like clarification. I like clarification. Actual tragedy. Hold on. Yep. Does Merunaya have to like denounce? It's a fucking. It's, do all these fucking like uh, Twitter NSFW accounts should be coming out and fucking like saying they denounced it? One yeah. did. It's like, One yeah, I think. Did. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they should. Yeah. One did respond, Fibs on, basically. At the end of the day, um, it just makes it, like, better yeah, for them. It's the easiest Fib- way to denounce. Did- wait, wait, did Cr- Mr. Beast need to denounce Chris if he didn't know anything was going on? Yes, he does, for his own brand safety and to d- distance himself from the allegations. It's the easiest way to get away from the allegations and to fucking shut anything down so people don't fucking drama mill the fucking entire thing. Whether you think they should or shouldn't is inconsequential to what's going to happen. It's better that they denounce it themselves than let fucking retards on Twitter fucking run the narrative. If you guys think Beckett of Crabs is basically fucking yeah. brain drilling retarded, that doesn't think that doesn't denounce the fact that these people should probably still go out of their way to denounce I it without ever having to do anything. I think he's brain dead retarded because he's trying to find every single person who's ever associated with this person and put their name up yeah. there to try to. He's actually trying to basically implicate anyone who's ever associated with Shadman. Well, uh, that's a terrible look because I don't care what all the other people say. Not everyone's going to know. People come from different parts of YouTube. I could go to Fiverr right now, order a Fiverr artist, not knowing if they're a part of a community or anything, order something from them that's unrelated to some degenerate shit they might be into. And then they might be into some degenerate shit. I might figure out later. I might never fucking know. That doesn't make me complicit in their weird fucking shit. It's not. It's and not even saying they're complicit. It's not saying they're complicit oh, at all. Joe, if somebody yeah, calls you out for it, Joe, announcing it, Joe, you're I'm literally saying you're not complicit. Joe, I'm gonna use that example you used. All right. So if if like when you do find out and people are calling you out for it, uh, what are you gonna do? Just stay silent. I probably wouldn't even associate with any of these people. How would they have my fiber inter- information? This is a retarded argument. What do you mean? Well, no, if you post it on Twitter. Look, okay, let's, yeah. let's say, okay, let's say someone commissioned Shadman without knowing anything that he ever drew before. <laughs> and, they, and they find out that he drew ch- children. Should they just never address it if they get called out for owning Shadman art? It's different from person to person, though. Everybody's going to have different reactions. I don't get, I, I don't understand, like, what's the point? Like, how am I supposed to sit there and say someone's not going to delete if so, all if that someone, and if to move on? They should still address it. They should still address it. So if they don't want anything to follow them, they should address it, get ahead of the fucking, ahead of the fucking crowd, and, not, and they'll literally avoid any drama. Not saying that they forced to, they need have a gun to the head, need to respond to it. But I'm saying that if they're going to delete stuff, the best way to get out of the way is to also make a statement on it. That is the best case scenario for their fucking... If YouTube hit whatever the fuck they want to do. The best case scenario is to get in front of it before anyone else undigs it for you. You rather be the person exposing yourself and saying, "Hey, at the very least, I, I know nothing about this and I denounce it," than have someone put you on a Twitter thread with a bunch of people that possibly did knew. You don't want your name next to Elvis the alien, someone who defended a fucking pedophile. All right. 
it's way easier to say I denounced it. So now you're the a person you're on the other side of the people who don't didn't know and denounced it. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, this is kind of a little bit deviating. Um, Burn says in the uh, the side chat, uh, this one is the worst. Where he says, "Damn, Jane Ski wasn't lying after all," which I think is kind of retarded. Uh, but uh, he that's says, fucking gay as hell. Yeah, in in, in yeah, it is, it's pretty gay. But um, all right. Magnet cries about guilt by association all the time. Same with Keem. Now they do it when it benefits. Yeah, that's why I think the majority of this thread is, is just guilt by association. Because yeah. I could be wrong about this, but oh, Beckett oh. of Krabs complained about RCC doing the guilt by association tactic. Yet here he is doing the same thing. And um, I don't know. To I don't know how much of a hand Toastify had with this thread, but he does credit Toastify saying that he helped with this yeah. thread right there. And which and what I'm saying is not that 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 what Cric Beckett of Krabs did is good. What I'm saying is the best response to this is Wait, when you're are, getting guilt by okay, association. Okay, okay, okay. Is I'm gonna say some. I'm gonna say something that you guys aren't expecting. I actually can see the echo. I see where he's coming from where probably the best outcome is to uh make a public statement say i didn't know or anything because i can see you're trying to save face but there is i think there's an opposite hand where you can't criticize someone for just deleting tweets and maybe trying to move on because that might be their strategy where they just delete everything because not everybody's gonna know that someone like becca the crabs is a logging everything right so i don't think there's inherently anything wrong with what jessica negri did where she just deletes stuff and doesn't address it but I, I mean, I that's, agree. that's the end true. Of the day, but, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 agree. I agree with you. It's probably the best. It's probably of the best interest to address it head on. Yeah. There you go. And like, I think I'm thinking I th about it. Yes. But yeah, I, don't I think, think what she did was wrong either is no, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't think she, I think the only thing she did was wrong was personally, I think that deleting tweets and not addressing it is wrong because you probably should be the person that should come out and like be the one who it, who says it first. I'd rather me say it than hear that someone else says it before I get the chance to. Because they're going to twist it and they're going to put the bad faith whatever the fuck, or, even, or interpret it in the worst way possible, and I won't be able to fucking, like, defend it the way I want to defend it right off the bat. Also, what the, the my thing with deleting tweets is always expect, like, they always say, like, literally they say when you're freaking in high school, not, uh, everything on the internet is forever. Never expect that you delete something and it's gone. Yep. Always expect that someone has it, whether they took it the screenshot when it would was happened, or they take the screenshot six years later when you forget. Always, it always feel like you're gonna be addressing something from ten years ago. I I just don't think uh, I don't I think the premise we're missing is you're looking at it like specifically, and I'm saying in general. I think in general that's a way of disassociating and wanting wanting to be away from it, and you're viewing it very specifically. If I saw someone I think, deleting, I think in a drama like sense, that. I think I think my viewpoint is in a drama sense, and these people are like a brand sense, like they don't want to be associated with it. But uh, if you're going to get involved yeah, yeah. in drama, the best way to deal with it is to be the first and to get ahead of oh, it. Oh, okay. So they got pretty pulled pretty into the drama, though. They got pulled yeah. in without wanting it. So maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe we agree in the bra like we agree in different points. Like I don't think I Jessica Negri or a lot of these people wanted to be pulled in and didn't even know what was going on. Yeah. Whereas in a drama sense, you want them to address it. Whereas in me, I see no problem with them deleting tweets and not addressing it because. Just Negri is kind of a brand. A lot of, some of these people are brands. They they go to conventions. They do things. They sell things. It's it's brand shit. And I, dude, if if you know, like, I I don't know. I I just think it's different. I don't think every single person who's ever been associated with Shatman should come out and go like, oh, I'm just now learning that this guy's a bad guy because this shit. It, at the end of the day, the situation shouldn't even be about Shadman. It shouldn't. Why are all these people it, it, like Beckett and all that making it about Shadman? It's about Chris Tyson. I don't understand. Like, I'm not His even defending Shadman. He's a pedophile, loser, retard, fucking degenerate that should be shot behind a courthouse. I don't care. But like yeah. trying to like I what I feel like Beckett and Krabs is doing is trying to cancel every single person who's ever had an association. Yeah, that's why I think it's retarded. Yeah, and I don't think that's okay. And I don't think every like I don't think every single person is going to come out and address. And I don't think every single person is going to do what someone wants. And that's why I don't think it's wrong for other people to have different reactions. I don't think any of these reactions are inherently wrong unless they agree or they stand by it. That's my thing. So why are we making this a Shadman and the people who associated with him thing when it's a Chris Tyson being a fucking weird degenerate piece of shit thing? I don't know, I'm mad because I, I honestly think what, what happened right there was wrong. 
Yeah, the only ones who the only SOW account that really did respond is Fib Odd, basically saying that um, you know, I was a passing fan of the regular pornographic content Shad made at one time and I unfollowed for a bit. The fact that my name is even being showed up on these threads is quite frankly ridiculous. Don't involve with this bullshit, yeah. please. I just want to draw the thoughts. But here's the kicker though. They said, I simply like most the most vanilla hodgepodge Rule 34 made. I liked his Teen Titans content. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> you were oh winning. You were winning in the first part and fucked up in the last. <laughs> oh, this idiot. Oh, this guy. Yeah. And then you I... have Chris Rat. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, nah, no, nah, go ahead. You. You were still yeah. on point because I was gonna say something. Something earlier. You would have yeah, Andro. And... No, I'm just kidding. And yeah, then did, there's I people did. like um. Yeah, and then there's Pimp Master Broda and uh, Crispy Blue Rat who are just molding at people. Like, to Ricky Burke's response of, you know, saying that everyone was a fan of Shadman from 2016 to 2019, his response is, you know, I love dumb shrimp brain. People always think that we effing talk to some person we followed 15 years ago daily. We have no association at all because that's not how it works. And then Pimp Master Broda is just um, molding at everyone. Saying that everyone is just a uh, fucking retard, thinking that how do we know? How are we supposed to know about everything that we did? How are we supposed to know what every person that we follow or comment on the internet does? And frankly, like I agree with um Pitmaster Broda, but like he's being he's just molding about it pretty hard. Like obviously, well, you don't the, know everything. the thing with the I'm pretty sure the thing with the Pitmaster Broda stuff is that he was trying to first come at it as a oh well actually I was just responding to him as like memes, and then they show yeah. him responding to his artwork. And it's like, wait, then why are you responding to like the actual artwork of like children and stuff? Very weird. I'm pretty sure if I if I'm I'm pretty sure I'm remembering this correctly. If, if I'm not, yeah. think me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he got exposed. He got caught lying about that when he was actually responding to like actual fucking pictures where Shadman went, or even responding to Shadman like he draws really crazy shit. Like what other crazy shit did he draw? But fucking children, like realistically speaking. Yeah. Like I I, I don't know Shadman's art besides the fucking the the three. Picture that everyone ever always, always references. Yeah. yeah, and then of course there's um uh, Willie Mac. Interesting. Yeah, we no we were talking about the Shadman <laughs> thread. <laughs> actually, 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 since you since you're giving out, what's your take on the Beckett of Crops thread? Oh, I think it's really gay. Like half yeah. of those people really like just interacted or like replied to him, even like normal tweets yeah. of his, and they're like they're like oh oh my goodness he replied to Sean oh he replied to Sean. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, like, the no. old one yeah. I think that's is, um... stupid. I think yeah, that's the old stupid. One... Like, we're yeah. doing a dumb witch hunt. Why are we doing a witch hunt? We're literally like running around trying to like crucify anybody who's ever replied to Shadman. If you have a creator, we're gonna like nail you to a cross. I think that's stupid. I mean, like recently, I oh, think yeah. uh, who is it? Dumb. Elvis the alien. Everyone was like nailing yeah, him because he guy. didn't respond. Like, uh, and then he came out saying that he that that wasn't true. And I was like, no, that's a lie, though. He did, he did like Shadman's yeah. art. He used his Shadman art for a thumbnail on People Root Fortnite. He mm -hmm. looked at his website in in the People Root Incredibles he? video. And he told yes, he did. his yeah. wife, and he literally told her, "Hey, so he draws pictures of kids." Yeah, he yeah. literally told his wife <laughs> that. So he started up lying about it. <laughs> Leave <laughs> him. Leave him yeah, now. Point, I'll save you. Point, but the point is, is like, there's a bunch of people in that like thread that are like just replied, or they bought like regular art of from Shadman, probably not even knowing like he even did any of this. Yeah, like stuff. um, like, like there's yeah, one like, person who bought uh like a bunch of SpongeBob art. Yeah, Aki um, Dearus. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Aki Dearus, uh, yeah, wife of, of um the anime. Art. Yeah, wife that of the anime. Regular art. art, but everyone's like, oh, okay, this the, the, the problem like, with okay, I see the point is, but we don't know if they even knew about it, and we're just assuming that they knew. I mean, I the thing with the the thing with Aki Dearus though is that she's. Her boyfriend, yeah, uh, anime is man. fucking uh, the anime man, and he like supports he, fucking Lollicon. He yeah, literally defended I, Lollicon while I don't even when they were is, together. Wait, yeah, I know. Man, isn't I, he part of uh, a podcast? Uh, for um, it's trash taste. Oh, uh, trash uh, taste. Oh, yeah, yeah. With, what the with, fuck? Yeah, with CD Dog and um, is there someone else on there? C Dog, Dog, or whatever the fuck his name. Shut not up. Dog. We're not it's talking not about Dog. fucking Dog. <laughs> fuck off. You want to <laughs> suck him off? That's how obsessed but, but yeah, you are, I know he's talking about. No, with, it's um, the opposite. The, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what I say. Echo. Like I could there. I have some benefit of the doubt though because um, because like she is the wife of um Andrew Man and like obviously he knows what. The lowly console well, there I, I also I, if I remember correctly because I used to obviously you know bitch with big tits I used to be a huge fan of her and I remember st I stopped watching because she was getting into like this weird fucking like degenerate fucking hole when she started dating him and she was like pulling up like her favorite like toys like or she had like a toy tentacle and was talking about like different types of hentai and I'm pretty sure she even mentioned like lolly and stuff like that like some of these people maybe didn't know that he did that 
but there's certain people that there's no way they didn't know. There's no way that they can get yeah. away with it knowing yeah. what they're involved with. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm yeah, saying, obviously. I'm saying. What I'm saying though is that for, example, for some of those people, at, you could, that argument doesn't work. Like for example, but looking at Dolan Dark. Say, I'm looking at Dolan Dark. All he did was reply to a handful of tweets, and that's about it. But no, we're gonna well, we're gonna label him as a like a, a CP supporter. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. But, like, sure. let's run around with our pitchforks and try to nail everybody who's ever replied with Shadman, because then you'll like be nailing half of the I mean, gosh darn internet. Because how much? How many? How many? How many uh, followers does he have on? Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah. On um, Twitter. Uh, we got we got to wrap it up. We're hitting an hour and a half here. Oh, we can go right. long. Fuck it. We can go long. Fuck it. We have yeah. fuck this. And like for Ricky Berwick, he requests art of him and Young Grip as a meme, and Larix on stream tries to paint him as a pedophile. All right, like no fucking joke. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. so 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 I have Shadman's uh Twitter up, and he has about nine hundred k. He had like, he definitely followers. had more. He definitely had more he definitely back then had because more. he lost because he lost yes. a bunch after the Keem. But stuff, are we going to go out everybody who's ever who's following him? And start labeling yeah, them as are we, are we gonna are go we after everyone, uh, but, everyone but one? <laughs> yeah, are we gonna go after um comment cop? Everyone because comment cop, comment, yeah, no, comment cop follows Shadman, Pie Girl follows Shadman. Are There's we gonna so witch hunt? Who I don't disagree, I don't the, agree with that. 50% of those arguments, arguments are horrible. <laughs> yeah, like, are we gonna are we gonna crucify comment cop for following Shadman? Mm. Are we gonna crucify oh, Pie Girl for following Shadman? Okay, maybe yeah. Pie Girl. We can crucify Pie Girl. Yeah, I'm yeah, true, true. I'm fine with that. Yeah, but, okay, but, like, but there's too so many but, other people like yeah, but, on these threads that just like literally reply saying normal things like like, like, fucking like who's like... chaos? <laughs> yeah, like who's chaos or Thaf Nine? Yeah. Like he said that he didn't know anything about the Shadow stuff, and he just does like he just plays um games while do B two B. That's all he does. How is he supposed to know about it? No, of course there's or like Sai for example. Side, yeah, uh, the editor. He uh, literally yeah, just for, replied for... to a handful, and that's about it. Like, I don't understand. Like Beckett and Crab's whole thing right here is like calling out everybody who's ever replied. Is I mean, you're just gonna be there for years. Like, I mean, half of these people, I don't even know who they are. Like, we have who? Like, I didn't know who whose chaos hey. is. I know who Scythe is. I know who obviously sure. Elvis is and Ris, uh, Rusty yeah. Cage. I look like Crispy and, and Crispy Rat. But then there's YouTube personality. But then there's people yeah. like T Nine. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Staff nine. Yeah. We have oh, uh, Senior <laughs> Grim, Twisted Grim. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, as a W artist. Yeah, like again, like uh, like we're gonna. I don't. I, I think it's. I think this is gay. I mean, like Shun Head, for example, made like three tweets, three, and that's it. Pedophile. Well, that means pedophilia. Well, um, yeah. she was she was well, part it, of the community well, that it, defended Chad Men though when his website uh, got taken. Oh, uh, okay. Never Remember mind. that was not wood, not wood, not wood, and. <laughs> but I mean, Wait, a lot of these, like, like these are just random. <laughs> just these are random. I mean, I mean, we. But the thing is, is like they're acting like this is a new thing. Everyone, like, there's we were everybody already knew that people already like disliked it. Uh, we're like buddy buddy with this guy. A lot of big creators, yeah. even yeah. like people, big people, even like cosplayed as him. So I like like this is nothing new. I I just think it's just like. I don't know. I just think it's weird that now now we're gonna have to call it out and being really autistic. Like like they're just finding anybody who's big, who has some numbers, and just posting any reply that they had to. Yeah, uh, yeah. Them. One of them, I, I really autistic. Yeah, one of them is very uh, one of them like Spats Kid. I know Spats Kid stop associated with Shadman. Like, like the, don't get me wrong. No. I'm I'm not yeah. gonna deny that Spats Kid definitely knew about the, what Shadman was drawing, but like they don't associate with with um Shadman. What's what's the point of putting them on the thread if they already still if they at the time of like what Dirty Tom's second video on Shadman came out, um, was the body bomb threat? They don't even associate with the guy anymore. That's why I'm scratching my head about. Yeah, no. I, I think I think, I think yeah, I think the threat is really really gay and it's not necessary. I mean, people are doing it to Mr. Beast. Did you see Dromler do that? Yeah, we yeah. we we went We're, over thoughts. Yeah, so that was, like, yeah, yeah. Like I don't again, I don't know what you guys have covered. Yeah, since the docket, I was watching the Deadpool Wolverine, all right. <laughs> So, <laughs> but uh, like, like things like that, it's just like people are just being so autistic with this drama, and they're also also doing things like this, pointing finger at multiple different people, is completely da da yeah, from it muddies the, the actual story. Because what we're actually focused on, we should focus on, is Chris Tyson and the people in Mr. Beast, not both pointing the fingers at yeah. Ricky Burbwick or uh, Elvis the Alien. Yeah, they deserve criticism, but let's do that after. Nah, nah, fuck after Elvis the Alien. This. Fuck Elvis the Alien. No, I don't that care. Guy, that guy wait, wait. Lied. 
real quick, because I see this is in the docket. Fumenko defended Shadman despite the fact that yep. he was on Augie's stream denouncing Shadman. Yep, yep well, that's true, Fumenko. Dude. Yep, typical Fumenko behavior, guy, defending dude. Shadman. Mm -hmm. Dude, this, that's so fucking mm -hmm. disgusting, dude. This okay, is so buddy. fucking gay. Okay, buddy. Yeah. There were okay, people, buddy. um, there were people who were giving pushback to the doc. I know Willimax said that he gave pushback. He I was agree with him. Uh, yeah, he was saying that, you know, um, I get around to council people buying Shaman's Lily art, but people buying his Uma art, um, it's dumb. And, you know, stay on topic, basically agree. being criticized. Nicholas Diorio uh, gave his response, which is take his, um, I think Edward who gave him money after the shit with Keemstar's daughter, and a year later with Daphne King should get shit. They all, all knew right, this guy's whole thing was pedophile art. But not all of them, like, I think it's autistic to say, like, they all knew. Like, some of them probably, like, some of them might not even known. I think it's just autistic just assume that they probably knew because it was a, because a handful of people knew. I mean, we're not, like, not everybody is so content brain like we are, like, we know everything about everything. I mean, Part of, part of the reason I can understand why they would think people would know is because of the notoriety that came with Shadman. Like, everyone fucking knew what Shadman's main thing was. Like, he was known for, like, doing the worst start. That's why people would respond to him, like, oh my god, Shad's so fucking, like, sus. Shad does this, Shad does that. I can understand that, but you can't put the same bar that commentary has on every single person outside of our community. Because you mm -hmm. never know exactly what they know. You never know when they come into contact with Shadman. Like, if they come in contact with him at 2016 November, the day after he posted that, totally guilty. There's no way they don't see that because it's literally the last thing he did when you fucking engage him. But like, like 2019, 2022, like you might yeah. never even fucking know. I mean, are we getting to this autistic level where we're just gonna like go after everybody who's ever followed him? Because are like, we I, go like after for, for, for example, Lee Harvey for example, Oswald, for, for example, I that. actually follow Shadman, but it's for archival purposes. I follow how many people on Twitter? Let me actually look. I follow Dude, we have over fire? 3k okay. people on Twitter. <laughs> All right. Does not mean everyone I follow support or everyone I reply to, I support them in 100%. I think that's really autistic. And I hate, like, the commentary community is just completely deviating and just pointing the finger at other people when we should focus on Chris. Like, that is my biggest critique I of agree. everybody in commentary. Everybody Agreed. in commentary is being so autistic about this. It's generally been frustrating me. Well, and, I am pretty autistic. Uh, I just, I think, know, the I, think the, I think the people that should be getting called out are the people that are lying about it. Like yeah, Nux, like LCA. fucking Elvis the Alien, like people that are actively dogs. lying about it, trying to get ahead of it. I don't have time yeah. so, for any of that yet. Yeah, so, okay, so Nux Taku, like TLDR, Nux Taku basically tried to call out Chris for uh -huh. having Shadman art, despite the uh -huh. fact that he had Shadman art in a thumbnail. Uh -huh. Mentioned that he had conversation with Shadman back in 2021 in a video with Quite. And then while trying to disprove that, lied about ever having, like, trying to have any association with them. When a, uh, a screenshot came out, of Nux trying to get a collab with Shad and getting denied by Shad. Back in 2021, by the way. Oh. And he used a SFW fucking picture of a child character, like, in his fucking thumbnail. Mm. Like, come yeah, that's on, dude. Us, dude. I, I don't know much about him, but... About Nux, but I know a lot of people don't like loser. him. He's a I mean, the, the last time he had... Degenerate <laughs> loser. The last time he got caught out for having lollies in his thumbnails, instead of addressing it properly he lied and said he didn't then went back and changed all his thumbnails yeah that yeah. was the rev mm. drama the rev says desu drama where he lost um, a pedophile <laughs> let's see is there anything else i missed that you guys talked about that uh, you guys no. want my opinion um, on really. mr beast um, burger have you had it <laughs> i've actually not and i regret you, and i'm very happy i haven't I'm have you tried have the some. Have you tried you don't the want Chris the Chris? Burger? I thought they canceled it. I thought they shut it down. <laughs> There's one no. right around me that still delivers and everything. Oh, really? There's a few around me. Oh, yeah, I they, 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 still the the they, they still They're have the Chris Burger. They still have the Chris Burger. Yeah, they still have the Chris Burger, too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to order dude, the Chris should, Burger for you guys. We should, dude, we should all get the Chris Burger and eat it. Let's all, yes, let's get the Chris <laughs> Burger have a when Chris do Burger meet up, review. When we do our meetup, we'll actually eat it all. <laughs> it might not be around by then. We have to get it while it's still here. Oh, okay. it's one year old also, burger. I just ordered my Deadpool and Wolverine 845 showing tomorrow for uh Dude, tomorrow I night. just came from it. I'm just going to say. I've never had that much fun with a comic book movie. Not only as a comic right. book fan, no, but as a movie fan. I'm going to tell you, I had so much fun. It's not right, perfect, let's... but I enjoyed it. Did it smell? It. Did it smell real bad in there? No. I went with my my uh, I went with, <laughs> Your I went with my, my dad and my sister. It was All a right. lot of fun, bro. Small minor thing, because I don't know if Flatley's back. He said he had to go away and take a shit like eight minutes ago. And knowing Flatley, he's got to take like 20 minutes shit. So we're probably going to have an extended AWT after the argument and after all that. Yeah. Uh, uh, no spoilers. If you spoil anything, uh, I we got will actually fire you. No spoilers. 
Um, it, it has a lot it, of surprises. I will tell you that. A lot, lot of surprises. Time. Is it also a, a good MCU movie? I would argue. Link... It is. Yes. I, I would argue. A very, yes. I heard it's a very good standalone movie too. Where it is. It is. Like there's some movies. Uh, like I'm not gonna get into because again, I won't spoil it for you. But there's like some movies where they're like cameo just for the sake of cameo. But I think it uses like cameos and like things like that in a much better way. And also, it doesn't deviate just making it uh, just a cameo fest and references fest. It actually, like, writes Logan and uh, Wolverine and Deadpool's story actually really interesting. And one of them, especially, really hit home with me, personally, mm-hmm. and I really liked it. So, Th- I personally it... enjoyed it. I'm really interested to see what Joe thinks when he watches it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll not, see it not uh, me. tomorrow. Not me, Brown. fuck you. I'll see it tomorrow oh, around 8.45. Tomorrow. I'll see it tomorrow around 8.45 my time. Uh, I can watch it a few other questions to ask since you just saw it. Uh, does it hold its R rating really well? Because I felt like Deadpool two oh. didn't hold its R rating very yeah. well. Oh yeah. Okay. Like some people, I've, I like honestly, I wouldn't say it pushes it, but it's definitely up there with like gore, uh, much more than the first two. I would hundred percent argue. Okay. Uh, the third Especially question. one scene in person, one scene in particular that is like, oh wow, they actually did that. <laughs> okay. Uh, third question. Yeah. Uh, third question, because I'll ask a few questions. We kind of get a little down <laughs> from the fucking drama. Um, mm-hmm. so, uh, would you say it is funnier than the first two? Where would you rank it in terms of funniness for Deadpool? I think, I think the humor in this one hit me more, just because it's my type of humor because i as a like i said like it's as a movie fan as an x-men fan as a combo book fan it was that type of humor that hit me who likes those type of things much better and better where i was it was probably the most i've laughed in a while in a movie so okay. i think definitely the first two that's just personally me it's just my humor i don't know if it'll be your humor because i know you're a movie guy i, but I, I hope don't know it beats i hope it beats kong beating the shit out of other apes with a baby ape oh yeah that, that, that made was me laugh. hilarious that made me laugh really fucking hard in the theater Ooh, that like, was too funny that was so funny speaking oh. about godzilla no i'm just kidding <laughs> i mean no, I, no, I, no, i'll, no, always, I'll talk, always deviate yeah. uh, dude, yeah, dude, dude, like all right, like so. Um, few a few small minor questions. I'm glad you're giving non spoilers, by the way, because I have no spoilers at all other than what we I could mean. literally do this I'm after the episode. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good for the episode because when it's published, like people go have see, had go see Dave Deadpool Wolverine. All right, there you go. Go see fun. Dave and Busters. Free I'm serious. Like I came out with that movie with a big grin on my face because I had so much fun with it. Like, so okay, I'm gonna say it? it's not perfect. Um, where would you rank it five? between? Uh, no, hold on. Okay. Where would you rank it one out of five? Where would you rank it amongst all three Deadpool movies? And where would you rank it in MCU movies? Jesus fucking Christ, mm. Joe. What the fuck? This, the first in two Deadpool are easy. Movies, the third one's the harder one. I think, I think personally, I think I think Deadpool Wolverine, I had more fun with Devil, Deadpool Wolverine than the first two. So I'd argue it's probably the better one. Okay. Um, and I also think the story, especially, especially with Deadpool, hit home with me more. You'll understand okay. when you watch it. Um, so I would argue that it's probably the best one out of all three. Again, I haven't seen the other two for a while, so I need to watch the other two. Uh, but, and then, uh, in terms of MCU, ah, man, I would say it was higher up. I wouldn't say it would be, like, I wouldn't say it would be, like, some of the best Marvel movies, uh, in the MCU. But I definitely think it's, like, in the top ten, at least. Oh, that's bold. That's bold. That's bold. Top ten, top fifteen. I would uh, top ten, top fifteen. I gotta like actually. Look. That's still bold. That's yeah. still bold for a uh, for a uh, what? Fa- what are we in phase five, phase six, something like that? Phase. Five. I'm also coming. I also want to like say this. I'm also coming out of the movie, like the movie high. So maybe tomorrow I'll probably maybe I I might drop it lower or I might bring it higher. I don't know, but I just came out of the movie high. So, um, and then what was the other one? It was uh oh out of five. Um, man. I'll give it a four. I'll okay. give it like a four. Okay. Maybe a four point five. But I, have, I don't know if I want to go that high. I don't know if I want to push it. But I think honestly, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I think it, it it was it felt like as a it, like I said as a movie fan as a comic book fan who knows especially what the old. I'm also gonna say it's a huge tribute to like the OG before MCU Marvel movies. So if you're so, a fan of those, I will ask. 
You would love this it. question with no spoilers, obviously. I've heard that this movie will affect the MCU going forward pretty heavily. Does does it actually do that? Um, there's something that they said in interviews, like it was gonna. I, affect yeah, it I also heard it. I think that they were over exaggerating a bit, but maybe okay. I don't understand the validity. But they do have some things that are going. They have especially one joke that continues through the movie that makes you think "Ooh, is this gonna happen in a future avengers movie and they kind of hint at it and it makes you really think so i don't know i i think they definitely dropped some big hints for where marvel's going for the next couple seasons uh, over next couple movies and like the direction now they're taking because i don't think they're going down the king route anymore um but yeah uh, also i'll say the villain was also pretty menacing not like the best villain Cassandra Nova, she's not the best villain, but she was very menacing. I really liked her. I was, very, uh, probably, I was not expecting her to like her. As I was long not expecting as it's better her, than Deadpool two, as long because Deadpool two, like Deadpool one is oh, a movie 100%. I really like. Deadpool two, is I like a movie it. I think it's pretty pretty rough. Like I, I don't uh, like Deadpool two that much. I like elements of Deadpool two. I think it does okay. certain things very well, but then it, there's some moments I'm just like, okay, that's what. And Deadpool one is pretty solid. It's a fun. It's a fun flick. <laughs> Deadpool 2, that, that fat fucking kid ruins the movie for Oh, me. Russell? Act, I think his name yeah. is Russell. Yeah, Russell. That is his name. Russell, the kid from Hunt the Wilder People and from mm -hmm. Godzilla uh, versus Kong. Yeah, have that you kid sucks. I hate seen, him. Ha have you seen... Uh, how long is it since you've seen like, the original X-Men movies? I'm trying to think of like... You know, that era, like the original Fantastic Four. Oh, uh, it's been um, a while. It's been a while, but enough... I, I can you know get enough. references. I can probably get references, get references okay. but the then Deadpool you're good movies to go. I've seen more. <laughs> the ones I can say is Dead, the Deadpool movies and Logan I've seen pretty recently. Enough oh, to where I can yeah. be like, yeah. Also, oh, <laughs> I'm going to say, I assume you're a huge fan of Logan. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's one of the best superhero movies ever made. Okay, I don't know if the beginning of the movie is going to make you rage or you're just going to giggle at it because it's funny. But I'm really interested. I'm so interested to see what you think about it, Joe. I'm going to be so real. <laughs> you could be like, that was, you're, you're either going to be like three different ways. You're going to be like, it's like terrible. It was like, that was pretty fun by some issues or one of my favorite movies ever made. So I'm really excited to see what you think. I like Logan. I like James I love Logan Mangold. Too. I, 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 I would say I love Logan. I, I love James Mangold as a director, other than Indiana Jones' Dial of Destiny, which I think is not a very well, good movie. that's terrible. Yeah, I did not like that. But he made I a movie I really that. like also called Copland, uh, with Sylvester Stallone, Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, uh, Harvey Keitel. Like, really great movie that's also very reminiscent of Logan, where it's like a, it's like a cop drama that happens to also be a Western, the same way Logan is a superhero movie. That is also oh, yeah. just a Western. Like, the guy just makes Western movies on accident. I really love it. That's true. That's true. Western, um, yeah. It's a superhero Western movie, and I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're... Logan is Logan's probably probably my third favorite superhero movie, if I had to be realistic. First two uh, being man. Guardians Volume 2 and Spider-Man 2. But right, Logan's I mean, pretty high up there, because I don't like the X-Men movies that much. I'm not a big fan, really. But Are you a fan of the X-Men or just those movies? I'm not a fan of those movies. I don't mind the X-Men themselves. I love the X-Men. If have you seen um I've seen them. I've seen them. Uh eight uh well I'm talking about have you seen X-Men uh what's it called? I just watched it. The animated show that just came out. Why can't I not 98? No, I haven't seen any of the Disney Plus stuff. Oh. Uh 87. X 87? Yeah. That okay. That is when, if you haven't seen it, it is so good. It does the X-Men exactly how they should do it in the movies. How they should have done it. I have this issues part, with the X-Men movies, but I, I, honestly, they have their charm. And I'm going to be real. They have their charm. They're not I mean, perfect. They, They're, some uh, of them are really, really bad. But some of them, they got this charm. My second oh, favorite oh, one, <laughs> and this is going to be a hot take. This is my second favorite one. X-Men the Wolverine, not X-Men Origins Wolverine the wolverine where he goes to japan yeah it's probably my second favorite x-men movie not counting dead that's based honestly that's based i enjoy uh, the movie a lot. <laughs> where, where are we 
you leave off? Are we we wrapping it up here? Talking about X Men. Yeah, we're just talking. Yeah. Uh, he's he just saw Deadpool and Wolverine, where we get a general consensus because even if yeah, don't worry, you can cut Deadpool. this all out. All right, all right, all right. thank you guys for <laughs> watching and subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on oh, the next one. By the way.